Okay, what did you do during lockdown? Good. Lockdown, I was trying to do my best and I was not planning something, to be honest, and uh, just improving each day, making my best and trying this like this. But any, I mean, psychologically, of course, it's very hard to, to you don't know what to expect, but when you, you are working for your goals, even it's, uh, I know you can't really make this out. It's good. And did you try any other new hobbies or pastimes during lockdown? Well, I go to a horseback riding. So uh, yeah, I have done it and I love reading. So I pass my time like that. Where about do you live? I live in Azerbaijan, Baku. Oh, in Baku, right. Yeah. So, a very famous city. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> chess city. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you played over the board chess? Um, here, actually, I played in Gibraltar, Gibraltar Chess Festival. So, and next year, this year, I mean, it's great to be here again um, and playing here. I'm very happy. Have you played in any major online chess events during the uh, lockdown? Yeah, we had uh, Olympiads and then had chess speed championships. Uh, then had um, the challenge of Pal Polgar and Kramnik, Bayer Julius Polgar challenge. I played there, and which is continuing. It will be the second leg in June. So lots of games and championships. Everything is good. Great. And have you watched the Queen's Gambit TV series? To be honest, just I had a glimpse. Um, just. Uh, I understood this is portrait of Bobby Fischer, so it made me in, like it was enough for me. Like I would have fallen in love in, at first sight, so I didn't need it any time just watching it. Right. So you just saw a couple of episodes. Yeah, okay. exactly. Um, do you think the Beth Harmon effect will be good for chess and for women's chess? Exactly. Um, even the series, let alone. In, affected uh, the whole world. So among chess players and also non-chess players grow love to chess and it's great to see. And uh, to women chess especially is another great story because I never seen too much young girl to be interested in chess this much after, I mean, before uh, Queen's Gambit. So it's great initiative. Did the general media come asking you questions in Azerbaijan? Um, so the general newspapers, did they come and ask you questions about it? About uh, Queen's Gambit? Yeah, or about... Yeah, yeah, there was yourself. actual questions. Uh, there was actual questions like how it's affected or do you see differences? And my answer is like that, positive, very positive. Right. And did you have any adventures coming to Gibraltar? Very club? much. Tell I can, I can write a book actually. <laughs> I got my visa, to be honest, um, one day prior to the tournament starting, like 21, uh, and uh, um, that was a roller coaster, and I had to come with my dad. Um, they had stopped him from boarding, and um, I lost my <laughs> um, computer's battery there, and um, which is horror for chess player. Yes. Yes, and. Um, Actually, there are lots of details that can be misunderstanding or challenging for a person, but in this is my situation, I'm very happy to be here. And that um, unlucky stuff actually give me strength to, to play greater, better chess here and not demotivating me, to be honest. Nice. So what's your ambition for the tournament? Just playing my good chess and um, I really missed playing off the board, like not online chess and to be happy here. That's it. Does it feel funny to play over the board chess after a year? Yeah, of it playing? feels actually weird. Um, you have to like online chess, you are playing fast, fast, fast and just premise, etc. But here <laughs> you you have to balance, you have to control yourself again and um, you have to get your rhythm. Yeah, yeah. That's why I just 
we'll use. Yeah, how was your game today with Antoinette? That was good. Um, we had um, normal uh, position after opening and after a few moves we had um, drawish, not drawish, but it was playable, but um, we just drew. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you. Um, Thank <laughs> you.